Hi everybody, we are now going to talk about correlation analysis. And to do this, we are importing pandas, we are importing numpy, and we are importing matplotlib to make some graphs. And the correlation is a measure of the linear relationship between two variables. For example, x and y. And if this correlation coefficient is plus one, then the x variable and the y variable will form a line on a scatter plot. And uh, then if you know the value of the x variable, then you know the value of the corresponding y value and vice versa. And if the correlation coefficient is negative one, then the uh, points for, of x and the points of y, they form a downward sloping line. But if the x and y um, uh, variables do not form, um, form points which are on a straight line, then the correlation coefficient will be between plus one and negative one. And if the correlation coefficient is zero, then there is no linear relationship between these two variables. But we are going to um, look at an example and we are making some values for our x variable and these are made by the numpy function range and uh, the points go from 5 to 60 with steps of 10. So the, the points will be 5, 15, 25 and up to 55. And we have some y variables or we have a var y variable and we have six elements in the list of the y variable and this would be 38, 22 and so on. And if we make these uh, variables and we can plot these uh, using the matplotlib um, library. So we just um, uh, type fig and axis for figure and axis and this should be equal to the PLT, the pyplots subplots um, um, method. And we can set the axis which are actually filling the figure with something and we should make a scatter plot of x and y. And then we want to set the x label equal to x with a font size and we would set the y label to y and we want to specify the font size and as is or if we just write this we will not uh, have a uh, figure to show for so we have to use the plt.show method to show our uh, data points. So we see here that the x variable is 5, 15, 25 and so on. So we have 5, 15 and 25 up to 55. And we have a y variable which is 38 and then 22 and then 32 and so on. And we can actually calculate the linear relationship between these two variables, the x variable and the y variable, by using the COF method from NumPy. So we just write np.corcoef and we specify the two variables. So in this case, we get the correlation coefficient uh, matrix and this is um, uh, this is uh, the x um, variable 
um, on the first row here and the or the first row and the first column. So this one here is the correlation between x and uh, x. This um, this um, uh, correlation coefficient of negative 0 0.84 is the correlation between x and y. This correlation coefficient here is the correlation between y and x. And this correlation coefficient here is between y and y. So you see that if you correlate a variable on itself, you get a, um, a corre correlation coefficient of plus one. Because there is, if you have correlation of plus one um, between two um, variables, they are actually measuring the same thing. But we see that in this case, our relationship between x and y is actually downward, downward sloping. So we expect a negative cor correlation coefficient. And this is actually what we get because we get the correlation coefficient between these two variables as negative 0 0.846. And if we uh, write the correlation coefficient between y and x instead, then we get the exact same result because uh, the correlation coefficient between y and x is the same as the correlation coefficient between uh, x and y. So the function core from pandas, uh, so just remember that now we used the a numpy function core coef, but we also have the uh, core uh, function from the pandas library. And this also calculates the correlation coefficient for uh, the numeric variables in a data frame. So if we put our um, range, our x range in a um, in a, um, um, uh, oh, sorry, in a data frame by just specifying the uh, key and value pair, um, we put the x values in price and we put the y values in demand. And we make this into a data frame, a pandas data frame. So we can just um, hit enter here or control enter. And we have a um, pandas data frame with two variables, price and demand. And we see here the index from zero to five specifying six observations. So we can plot this by using the uh, plotly uh, subplots or the matplotlib subplots. And uh, we want a scatter plot and we define the y variable and the x variable or the variable on the x axis uh, as demand. And we set x label as price and we set font size and we set the y label as demand and we have the font size. So if we run this, then we see that we have the exact same data and we have these, um, these uh, observations here. And now we just call the x variable for price and we call the uh, y variable for demand. And if we run the um, data frame method core for correlation, then we get the correlation matrix between the price and demand. So, and here you also see that the correlation between price and demand is here it's equal to the correlation between demand and price, which is here. 
And the in the last uh, class we had, we used the uh, miles per gallon um, data set. And in this data set, uh, miles per gallon um, for specific cars and their specific attributes of these cars um, are stored. So if we just um, import the miles per gallon uh, data set and check out the five first observations, then we have miles per gallon here. We have cylinders in the ordinary combustion engine. We have the horsepower, weight, acceleration, model year. These are apparently uh, over 50 years old and origin and name. So these are only American um, cars. And if we uh, we plot three different plots here, we can plot the horsepower uh, versus the miles per gallon. And we can plot the weight versus the miles per gallon. And we can um, plot the acceleration versus miles per gallon. And then we can have uh, miles per gallon on the y-axis here. So here we have for the first um, for the first um, uh, figure, we have um, we have set the y label. So remember that the first figure has index number zero, the second figure has index number one, and the third figure has index number two. So the y label is only defined for the first figure because they, the um, the figures all uh, share the same y-axis. And here we have miles per gallon on horsepower. So we see that the more powerful the engine, the less miles per gallon of fuel economy you get. And here, the uh, heavier the car, the less uh, miles per gallon you actually get. So light cars can travel far on one gallon, heavy cars can not. And here you have acceleration uh, on miles per gallon. And here you have this, um, uh, this uh, scattered um, uh, relationship. So for um, very slow cars, you have low miles per gallon. Maybe these are uh, kind of uh, trucks or heavy cars with small engines, which are made to um, uh, carry stuff, maybe. And if you have more acceleration, you also have uh, more miles per gallon for some cars, but not for others. So in this case, you can um, uh, hypothesize that the relationship between miles per gallon and horsepower is negative. So the correlation should be negative. And the, uh, the relationship between miles per gallon and weight should be negative. So the correlation coefficient is uh, expected to be negative. Whereas uh, the correlation coefficient for acceleration, the linear relationship between miles per gallon and acceleration is uh, maybe uh, somewhat positive, but um, the value should be close to, um, close to zero. So if we just uh, take the uh, miles per gallon um, data frame and use the correlation um, method, we get the correlation between all the um, all the uh, numeric variables in this data frame. And here we have only considered miles per gallon. 
because we want to explain my miles per gallon and here you have the weight or the horsepower um, of the uh, the car and you see that the negative relationship is actually described in a negative uh, correlation coefficient of negative uh, 0.77 and uh, which is quite close to a negative one of a perfect negative relationship and a even a lower um, uh, correlation coefficient is between my miles per gallon and weight whereas the acceleration has a positive relationship between miles per gallon and itself and uh, this correlation coefficient is then plus 0 0.42 and we can also um, plot the uh, the um, uh, the uh, correlation uh, between uh, the horsepower and the miles per gallon so here uh, we can um, get the correlation between two uh, variables the miles per gallon and horsepower we save this to be used in the title of the um, the um, um, the um, uh, scatter plot so in this case we want three scatter plots they are side by side so we have three columns <clears throat> we also set the fig figure size and for the first uh, plot we can just run this and so we have one example to uh, look at and <clears throat> For the first plot at axis or at index number zero, we want a scatter plot between miles per gallon or horsepower and miles per gallon, miles per gallon variable. So um, here we have the miles per gallon on horsepower and we have the X label set to horsepower, the Y label set to NPG so X label and Y label and we have set the title which is R which is a string plus this uh, this number which has to be cast into a string but we are also rounding it to two uh, decimal places so in this case the uh, this will be R equals negative 0 0.78 so here <coughs> in the uh, the title you can have the correlation coefficient uh, 